With the promotion of Resident Evil Village coming to a close with the Gold Edition and DLC coming this October, it's no surprise that Capcom has already begun development on the next mainline game in the series, Resident Evil 9. With the new Resident Evil game comes new leaks and today they have officially begun. It should be noted that everything you are about to hear is currently a rumor and should be taken with a grain of salt, especially when you hear the source. But I think these leaks are worth hearing because they actually sound really good. The leaks today come from 4chan, but they seem to be gaining a lot of traction. If anything, they create a good discussion, so let me know your thoughts on the leaks below in the comments. We'll start with the working title, Resident Evil Apocalypse. On the surface, that title seems a bit cringe, but it's a working title and subject to change. It actually fits well with the material. I'll get a little bit more into that shortly. Next up, we have the setting. Resident Evil 9 will take place in a ghost town in the west where a certain investigation is underway. It will feature several places like caves, rivers, small towns, and camping sites. There's also a creepy forest area, which is easy to get lost in if you don't have a map. I personally like the idea of a small town with a western theme. The investigative elements add a bit of a detective flair to it that I think will fit really well with the setting. Moving on now to the enemies. They will look like some kind of deformed creature with huge emphasis on body horror. They'll resemble mythological creatures with horns and locals will call them Wendigo or Goatmen. Enemies will be mimicking human voices and could even transform into friendly NPCs. They can perfectly mimic human voices and the player will be forced to look at their behavior to know if they're enemies. That actually sounds creepy as hell. Players will be able to force open some doors. They can also lock and barricade them and use breakable melee weapons. Personally, that all sounds great. Enemies that dive into mythology and folklore fit well with the theme Village had, so it makes sense Capcom would continue this style. Moving on now to one of the early bosses in the game named Barghest. Barghest is described as a giant black dog with a twist and will be less intelligent compared to other monsters. This reminds me of the Varkalak Alpha Werewolf in Village. Capcom already has the AI, so it only makes sense that they would reuse it in Resident Evil 9. One of the main antagonists will be a woman named Glystig by the locals. She has a really beautiful design with green gold ornaments and a morning green gown. Sounds a bit like Mother Miranda. I'm starting to see a trend with this design. The player will receive help from a woman bioweapon named Holder. She'll serve as a guide through the forest, tell you some of the town's history when you show her treasures, keys, puzzle pieces you find along the way. She'll also teach the player different herb combinations. There will be seven herb types which can be combined with each other to achieve various effects. The monsters fear this woman just as they fear and respect Glystig. They won't come close. This serves as an explanation why they can't enter save zones or rooms. Holder sounds very much like the merchant or the duke character which means the shop will be back and I'm all for that. Finding treasures to sell for upgrades and items adds a ton of replayability. Now coming back around to the reason of the title. The plot will be about the ninth moon phase and the nickname Apocalypse came from that idea. The moon serves as this game's symbol and will probably appear in the logo. So there you have it. All the new Resident Evil 9 Apocalypse leaks. If I'm being honest, these leaks sound really interesting and fit well with the theme Village started. There's a part of me that hopes these leaks are true, but now I'm curious to know your thoughts. What do you think about the western setting? What are your thoughts on the mythologic inspired enemies? What are you looking forward to most from Resident Evil 9? Let me know down below in the comments and let's have a discussion about it. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and for all the latest Resident Evil 9 news, leaks, and rumors, make sure to subscribe.